Namaste all the students from 8th standard. In this lecture we are going to learn variation and in this variation we are going to learn inverse variation. So for that let us observe this chart. Number of students in a row and number of rows. If 40 students are in a row then number of rows are 6. If 10 students are in a row then number of rows are 24 and if 24 students are in a row the number of rows are 10 observe this chart carefully and get what is the basic idea in this chart okay can you find it the basic idea related with this chart look at this the value of number of students in a row <coughs> it is changes 40 to 10 it means it is decreased then number of rows get increased now the change in first quantity if 40 divided by 4 then it is 10 and 6 into 4 that is 24 first uh, first quantity get increased from 10 to 24 and another quantity get decreased from 24 to 10 so in the relationship between two quantities if first quantity get decreased other get increased if first quantity get increased other get decreased that relationship is called as inverse variation so let us understand inverse variation in details mathematical statements for <coughs> x inversely variate with y this can be written as x is inversely proportional to y remember that when you are writing inverse variation you should write another quantity in denominator so x inversely proportional to y when you we use the constant k here then the statement becomes x is equal to k upon y where k is a constant this is called as equation of variation or equation of inverse variation x is equal to k upon y or x into y is equal to k is the equation of variation and k is a constant okay now let us solve examples based on it first example a varies inversely with b then complete the following table in this table we have given the values of a and b and a into b so in the first column when a is equal to 6 then b is equal to 20 and the value of a into b is 120 as here is inverse variation we must know that a into b is equal to k that is the constant so value of a into a doesn't changes here so it is a 120 120 now find when a is given find the value of b when b b is given find the value of a now in second column a is equal to 12 so what is the value of b so as we get the product of a into b is equal to 120 so value of b should be 10 here okay now in next column when a is equal to 15 what should be the value of b yes very good it is 8 and in this last column what should be the value of a when b is equal to 4 very good it is 30 so in this way we can easily calculate uh, the value of one quantity when another quantity is given Now next example f is 
just inversely proportional to d square and another information is given here when d is equal to 5 f is equal to 18 so we have to calculate the value of f if d is equal to 10 and value of d if f is equal to 50 so firstly we have written here f is inversely proportional to d square therefore f is equal to k upon d square where k is a constant and therefore f into d square is equal to k now this is the equation of variation but we have to calculate here k with given information when d is equal to 5 then f is equal to 18 therefore f into d square is equal to k and therefore k is equal to value of f is 18 and value of d is 5 so square of 5 therefore k is equal to 18 into 25 that is k is equal to 450 so here value of k is 450 now you you can put this value in the given equation f into d square is equal to 450 that is the modified equation of inverse variation so equation of inverse variation now from this equation we can easily find out the value of value of f when d is equal to 10 and value of d when f is equal to 50 let us find that values again f into d square is equal to 450 therefore now d is equal to 10 and f we have to find f so f into square of 10 is equal to 450 therefore f into 100 it is equal to 450 yes so f is equal to 450 upon 100 so answer yes 4.5 very good is equal to 10 then value of f is equal to 4.5 now we have to find value of d when f is equal to 50 so again we can use f into d square is equal to 450 therefore 50 into d square is equal to 450 therefore d square is equal to yes 450 upon 50 therefore d square is equal to 9 and that is taking square root on both the side d is equal to 3 so when f is equal to 50 then value of d should be 3 okay do you get this now next example now the word problem is given here the boxes are filled with apples in a heap if 24 apples are put in a box then 27 boxes are needed if 36 apples are filled in a box then how many boxes will be needed so let us calculate for that let us put the information in a tabular form first we have to find what is the relationship between these two quantities for that guess that uh, if we put more apples in a box then number of box required will be less and if we put less apples in each box then number of boxes required will be more so first quantity get increased then other get decreased first quantity get decreased then other get increased that is here inverse variation so here is inverse variation and we know that when there is an inverse variation between x and y we can write it as x inversely variate with y and therefore x is equal to k upon y is the equation of variation where k is a constant in the information part 
that is x is equal to 24 then y is equal to 27 then, therefore k is equal to x into y that is 24 into 27 it is equal to 648 yes 648 now modified equation is x into y is equal to k that is 648 now we we given here the value of x is equal to 36 and we have to find y so 36 into y that is 648 therefore y it is equal to 648 upon 36 so which is the value of y it is 18 y is equal to 18 so the answer is if 36 apple are filled in a box then 18 such a box will be required okay do you understand it thank you